Hi, it's me, Chizu. This is my tutorial on how to convert a DAE file properly so that it can be uploaded for the Twitch integrated throwing system, or TITS, as I will refer to it as. So, what is a DAE file? A DAE file is a 3D model file that is popularly used by Nintendo to store all of their 3D files in. TITS only accepts 3DS files, OBJ files, FBX files, and STL files. So I want to focus primarily on OBJ and FBX files. So for this tutorial, you will need four things actually. You will need TITS itself, you will need Blender, which is free, you will need Unity, which is also free, and then you will need the Unity package FBX exporter. So you want to make sure you've downloaded your file. I'm using the EV plush from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee as my example here. So as you can see, it contains two different DAE files, an SMD file and a PNG file, which is its texture. I want to bring that into Blender. So I'm going to import a DAE file, find my Eevee plushie. For myself, I want to open the Eevee plushie that's the open collada. You can work with whichever one you want. This one is just easier to work with for me. There is an ambient light, which I'm going to delete actually, and then I'm going to delete the camera and the light. So now we are working with the simple Eevee. You might want to rotate it to a proper position. I think I will actually rotate it to a proper position. And I'm going to show you, first of all, why exactly it won't work if you simply upload this as an FBX or an OBJ directly exported from Blender. So I'm going to export this as FBX. I'm going to name it EV Temp FBX. So you want to path mode copy, make sure it's turned on, embed textures, export XBX. And then I'm going to also export it as an OBJ. So I'm going to also name this EV Temp OBJ. So for the OBJ, it will actually export as an OBJ as well as an MTL. So I'm going to bring up my TITS. First, I'm going to import the FBX. As you can see, the FBX actually does not import for some reason. Now, I've never been able to figure out why. So this is why I'm making this tutorial, to help you work around this issue. And then if I import the EV temporary object, it actually does not export with textures. We're going to fix this. I'm going to actually use the OBJ files. I have had issues with the FBX file being converted. So I'm going to stick to the OBJ file. I'm going to drag in my OBJ. Simple as that. I'm going to put my OBJ over here. So I'm going to make a folder called texture. Now we have this default material. I'm going to create a material preset from it. And it's going to be named EV temp. I'm going to drag it onto the EV plush. For more advanced texturing, they're going to be separated into parts actually on the model. So you're going to have to figure out which texture aligns with which part. TITS actually only reads albedo maps. It doesn't read any of these other maps over here. So you're going to click this little circle next to the albedo name. And you're going to select your texture. So now my EV is textured. Ta-da. Beautiful. If you go to EV temp and then you click prefab and you click unpack, it makes it easier to work with the ones that are more complicated than this. This is only one item. This is one object. So this one doesn't matter as much. For the ones that are separated into several parts because they're more complicated models, such as a full Pokemon model rather than just the EV plush, you want to unpack completely in order to work with all the separate parts that need separate textures. So I'm going to go to game object. I'm going to go to export to FBX. And then I'm going to make a new folder, actually. I'm going to name it Pokedolls. And I'm going to select my Pokedolls folder to export into, and I'm going to name it EV underscore plush. I'm going to export everything. I'm doing models and animation, but you can just do models only. The default is just models plus animation. It doesn't really matter since these don't have animation baked into them. So I'm going to hit export. And now if you open your Pokedolls folder, you should have your EV plush FBX inside your Pokedolls folder. So something important to note is that you should have your texture inside the same folder that your FBX is at. So for example, I don't have it right now, and I'm going to show you what happens when you import in TITS without the texture in the same folder. So I'm going to go to Model Importer. I'm going to import my FBX. You see when I import the FBX without the texture in the folder, it imports as blank. So let's delete that, and then let's put the texture within the folder. Now it's just in the folder. And then you're going to import again, you're going to EV plush, and now it has the texture on. If you have any questions, concerns, please feel free to reach out to me at Cheesy Roll on Twitter. That is where I am most responsive. Feel free to comment if you have any questions either. I will try to respond on YouTube. And I hope this helped you import as many Poke plushes as you want.